Hello, welcome. You made it to another week of chemistry class. You made it through your uh, first two days just fine. You figure out how to navigate Schoology and access the syllabus and the getting to know you questions. I really appreciate you answering those. I'm enjoying reading them. Um, I'm learning a lot about you. Um, that'll help me uh, with trying to connect with you um, during the year through this class. Um, I want to give you an overview of what to expect for this week. Um, so let me resize my face and show you um, in unit one, which will be unpublished um, when you look at this. There's a video called What is Chemistry? There'll be this video that I'm making now in here. And then Monday, uh, you have these things to complete. And this is typical of how the rest of the days go. Um, I have a set of PowerPoint notes for you. You can peruse them if you want to. Um, you can either open them up full screen like this and then click through them. So if we go back to Monday, then you also have a video that I have voiced over the notes. So if you would like to look at those and listen to me talk, you could do that. Um, I do have closed captioning also um, for you to be able to uh, listen and um, watch at the same time. So let me close that. Um, this is the um, actual graded, one of the graded things. You have two graded assignments here. Um, this is a, a real short lesson, uh, so you'll open that up. And it provides, you won't have this screen. It'll just open up just like this. And it provides... Um, a short description, let me go to the latest version. It provides background information. It gives you two short videos to watch. This one also has an interactive um, activity that helps you practice the idea of the concepts of accuracy and precision. There's always a summary and a set of short review questions. I, I, this is not where I'm asking you to do the work. This is just to, for you to review yourself so you don't have to write anything down or turn any of this in. What you do have to do is this practice, and that part is graded. Okay. And again, yours doesn't look like this exactly when it starts, um, but it is a... Um, a set of practice questions that will get graded and you get to redo it um, and you get a scratch pad here you can get a hint um, so if we just you know check to see if I got it right it's wrong so you get to try again and then if you need a refresher remind me no thanks um, so try again and so it's asking um, to choose action precision and accuracy would be player B uh, and we get that right and then we go to next and then they do provide you with a lot of background information um, let's see let me go back to submit once you're done um, and then within um, the page itself on CK12 you have a set of toolbars so you can look at insights related comments you can highlight and use notes, resources, and then there's more information available within the lesson. This is hidden in the background, but it allows you to make little notes to yourself or to highlight any of the text if you find that is necessary. Um, any, and it, it'll save. So for you, it'll be something that you can reflect back on later. Okay. So and that's the, the one assignment. And then the other one is a short assessment on accuracy and precision. And this one you do get two attempts. It doesn't look like this when it loads. Instead, it looks like this. 
So I, I've set it to two attempts. Um, and so you get to start your new attempt and you just go through and answer the questions. Here's how you navigate. You have um, different types of tools. You can flag, eliminate. You have a calculator, a notepad, um, and then you click next and then you can submit once you're done. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me go back. And then that's all for that, that day's lesson on accuracy and precision. So let me go back to unit one and back to this week. Um, Tuesday, uh, same kind of thing. I have significant figure notes. I have not voiced over those notes yet. Um, so I'd like to find out from you if you would give me some feedback on, are you fine with just having the notes available or do you need me to have the voiceover with the notes. Um, so let me know, here it is this way and just without the voiceover. So, um, you know, shoot me a message or a note or something to let me know, yes, I'd like voiceover. And if the majority of you want voiceover with the notes, I can do more videos where I do a voiceover of the notes. Okay. Um, and then you have, uh, same kinds of things. All of these are very short um, lessons. I will show you like this one, for example, will be um, also short, just like the accuracy and precision, just for you to gauge. So it'll have like a short description, a nice video. These are the same kinds of videos from this gentleman that I've used before in my classroom summary, a couple of questions, and then this is your graded practice. Um, so this one's even shorter than the, the accuracy and precision. So they all vary in about this length um, with the background information, the video, and then the practice. And then this one doesn't have an interactive um, simulation that goes along with it. Okay, so none of them are real long. Um, for you to have to, to do that. It might some days seem like a lot, but it's actually, um, they're all very short lessons. Um, so I typically have taken what I would cover like in one block and broke it up into several days. Okay. Um, and then Friday, um, you have um, density and temperature, and then you have scientific notation and then significant figures with addition, multiplication, and subtraction. Um, I don't have my webcam, um, not webcam, but uh, document camera yet, so I can't show how to actually do problems like I would on the, my dry erase board, like as if you were in person, um, and I don't have a smart board, so I also cannot record me working problems. And I, I tried to do that with the webcam and that doesn't work so well. I'll show you. <laughs> so um, I, I thought about doing things like showing you how to how to write, you know, out the problems. It's going to hopefully this doesn't make you sick to your stomach what I'm doing here. Um, but I don't have an easy way for you to see what I'm writing. Does that make sense? And I can't hold it over, and it would also be upside down and backwards. So, you know, um, that doesn't really work. So, um, until <laughs> until I can get um, the uh, document camera, uh, then I, I'll be able to work problems for you. Um, so right now I have to rely on videos already made and other instructional pieces already created. Um, but I think you'll like the CK-12. I've used it before as a resource, uh, even when I teach in person, because it's a great alternative to a textbook, um, because not only does it explain, but it also has videos that, that show. Um, and then you also have the chance for practice. Um, let's see. I think that's all I needed to cover right now. Um, I don't like making these videos at all. <laughs> And it's real uncomfortable. <laughs> um, 
if you can think of anything else that I need to cover or go over with you or explain on how to use, just, um, you know, contact me. You can call me using that my Google voice number or you can email me. Um, if it's another video you would like me to make to show how to do something, just ask and I'll do it. Um, and then we'll see how things go for the week. Um, and then uh, we'll talk about having setting up a Google Meet so that you can see your classmates and um, you can ask questions and things like that. So maybe, maybe on Wednesday I'll do an update and ask you how are things going and um, maybe a Friday would be a good day to, to set up a Google Meet. Um, so let me know if, I, if you are fine with um, not having the notes annotated or if you need me to make a video annotating those notes. I can, I can do more of those. I just wanted to do one so you can see what that's like um, versus just having the notes by themselves. So um, let me know and that way I'll get a feel for what I need to do. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right. I hope you have a great week. Um, and again, if you have any questions, um, contact me. I'm here. Um, I'm waiting on you to say, Hey, I need help. So talk to you later. Bye.